Here's a weird idea. You may have heard this one before. You are what you think about, but here's a weird idea to consider, right? So your water, right? You're pretty much, you and I are pretty much like 80, 90% water, depending on where you get the statistic, depending on where you look. Your brain is also majority made out of water, right? So we're pretty much water is what we are. We're like a pool. They've done studies before where they've shown that you can influence water with your intention. So like they'll take two glasses, right? And they each have water in them. And one of them, they'll focus negativity on the glass. And the other one, they'll focus positivity, love. The other one's hate. And so they'll look at the molecular structure of the water and they'll uncover that this, that this one that got love, that got positive thought, actually uh, had, a, had a more fully organized center of, of crystal nucleus. While the one that had hate and all this crap in it, it wasn't as symmetrical, it didn't look quite as right. You could see that the influence was serious. They also do that right with plants, like play really negative, bad music, and they'll play good music. So you can influence water on the molecular structure with thought. Well, you're basically water. So think about this. We've all heard of the law of attraction before. And, and what I suggest is you don't actually, your thoughts don't control every circumstance in your life. Things are out of your control at times. But your thoughts make up who you are. They make up how you show up in the world. Your thoughts determine who you become. Little image of self, little thoughts of self, negative thoughts of self. You change. You don't play as big as you can play in the world. You tell yourself, I'm limited by age, right? I'm limited by this. I'm limited by that. I'm not that pretty. I'm not that smart. I'm not that creative. That's what you become. So what I invite you to do is look at the law of attraction, look at the power of thought from a different way, not from creating your reality, but from creating yourself. George Bernard Shaw once said, life is not about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. Life is about creating yourself with your thoughts. Your thoughts become the things that you think, your belief systems, who you are. So the question is, what are you thinking? Take the time to fill yourself up. Thank you for watching. Be sure to press subscribe, smile really, really big, and then add your email address to my newsletter on my website. It's jakeducey.com. Link below. Peace out.